What is going on, Badger fans? Really excited for this one. Special show. We're dropping at midday. Let's talk about Braden Locke from somebody who knows him about as well as anybody can. Let's go. You are Locked On Badgers, your daily podcast on the Wisconsin Badgers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's going on, Badger fans? Welcome to Locked On Badgers, your team every single day. Really do appreciate everybody tuning in as we keep building this community up. And we're not wasting any more time because we have a great guest on, Coach Brooks, Trey Brooks, Rockwell High School, the head coach of Braden Locke, Landon Locke, who Wisconsin fans both know those names really well at this point. Yeah. Coach, thank you so much for jumping on the show. Man, Welcome thanks for you. having me. Thanks for having yeah. me. Excited about it. Abs absolutely, man. I, I want to start here. You're watching the game last week, and we talked about it before the show. Mm -hmm. And a more guy gets hurt. What are your thoughts when you see Braden Locke go into the game? Well, I, I hate to see Tanner get hurt, first of all. You know, I hate to see anybody get hurt. And I know Braden and he have a really close relationship. We talked about that a lot, you know. But when it comes to Braden, just excited for him. I mean, I was nervous. I, I know that I was more nervous than he was, for sure. Um, but excited for him to get the opportunity and uh, – uh, no doubt that he was prepared for that, just knowing him as a person, knowing how he prepares as a player. Uh, and so I could see it in his eyes, too. I'm sure everybody else could also on, on TV that he was just he was ready and he knew what he was doing. And uh, I was I was excited for him. Obviously, really tough situation to go into mm -hmm. right at home against Iowa yeah. uh, in a must win game kind of for Wisconsin. How do you think watching those reps? I actually thought he came in and he looked pretty poised for a Richard freshman. How do you think he navigated those reps? Yeah, I thought I thought he did great. Like you said, it's a uh, a tough defense to come in against. It's funny, I you know I had talked to him on Thursday of that week. He was just telling me about about Iowa's defense and and how good they were, and uh, really that it was one of, if not the best defense that they'll see this year. And you know, sure enough, it's the game that he gets gets thrown into at halftime. But I thought I thought he played well, and uh, you know, it looked like he knew the plan and. Um, you know, I thought I thought he did good considering the the circumstances that he was thrown in. What can you tell us about uh, Braden, the player? Like, how how is he going to prepare this week, knowing he's coming into uh, this this week against Illinois as a starter? Well, he prepares better than any person I've ever been around. Uh, just he he loves the game. He's a football junkie, and so I I know this because Coach Longo has told me the same thing. Uh, you know, when he was here at Rockwall, he would be. He'd be in our office, I mean, all the time. Uh, he'd come in during lunch. Um, he'd be in here after school. I mean, to the point where we'd have to, like, kick him out. Okay, Braden, we got, you know, we got things we got to do. And uh, I know he does the same thing there. And so, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I guess I guess mentally, you know, knowing that you're going to play in the game, you know, maybe that's a little bit different. But I also know that he prepares, he prepares the same regardless. I'm sure that he prepared the same as the backup. But um, – Probably the biggest difference, I would guess, is just the amount of reps that you get over the course of the week, you know, and so actually getting to rep that stuff rather than mentally just just rep it. So 100 uh, percent, no doubt that he will be he'll be ready and, and he'll rise to the occasion. Where does as, as a coach and this is where I think uh, one of the goals of the show, coach, is always to, to make us smarter, to make the community smarter. Mm -hmm. I think you're certainly the type of guest that's going to do that. Uh, where does he win as a quarterback? Because he. There, there's you court, Badger fans have seen Tanner Mordecai for six weeks, more probably a little bigger, maybe a little more mobile than Braden. Uh, where do, where does Braden win as a quarterback? Uh, I think he he wins with his accuracy, uh, man, incredibly accurate. Um, I think he is a phenomenal decision maker. Um, he will know he will know the ins and outs of that defense, and he does such a good job of knowing where to go with the ball based on what he's getting uh, defensively. Uh, so, I mean, it, you know, so he will win there, um, you know, just in his preparation, um, pocket presence, um, you know, you say he's, he's not a runner and he knows that, but he will sit in there and deliver the football. Uh, and you, you saw that a couple of times uh, in the game when he got to go in and he, he, you know, he'll sit in there and take a hit and deliver the football where it's supposed to be delivered. And so, man, I, I you know, I just think all of those things uh, really make him the player that he is. Well, and talking to me too, like, playing at the level of Texas high school football that, mm -hmm. that you guys play at. Um, I read Braden set the six, a record for passing touchdowns. Yeah. Yeah. What, what kind of accomplishment is it at that level of football? Oh, I mean, it is, it, you just look at the list, like the list of names that are around him. Uh, you know, it's like 
Kyler Murray and Andrew Luck and people like that, those kinds of names. And so, uh, yeah, it's a it's a big accomplishment. Uh, it's a really, really high level of football and there's big time quarterbacks that come out of the state. And so to be on that list is a, I mean, it's a it's a big deal. And he is as good as any of them. Uh, and I mean, he proved that for for three years that he was our our starting quarterback. One of the things I found really interesting with with uh, Braden too, and I want to get into a little bit of how he's wired, right? Because you talk about football junkie. Uh, no. Longo, Coach Longo has talked about it. We can't get him out of the building. Yeah. Like, did he come into your program as a freshman like that? Where does that come from with him? Is that just something that internally he's always had, do you think? Yeah, I think I think it is. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's just – I don't know if it's something you're born with. Uh, he has a phenomenal family, um, a really hardworking family, and I'm, I'm sure that the work ethic comes from them. Um but then just the love for the game, uh, they, you know, his parents have told me about you know, stories of him having a, having a college football game recorded on TV and just watching the same game every night, you know, that kind of thing. Like when he was really little, um, you know, I actually knew Braden back when he was in elementary school. Uh, Cause when I first got to Rockwall uh, before I was the head coach, my teaching job was at an elementary school teaching PE. So I had Braden in PE in like fourth, fourth and fifth grade, uh, which was fun. But I mean, you could just see it, you know, sometimes I guess, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just an it factor when kids have it, you know, and he's, he definitely has it. Well, and one of the, the other interesting things with him, he transferred to Wisconsin. I want to go really quickly back, not focus a ton on it, but when he transferred to Wisconsin, mm -hmm. Wisconsin had already picked up Nick Evers, another mm -hmm. transfer quarterback. And a lot of people said, why would, why would Braden go there? There's going to be too much competition. Is that just go back to the way he's wired? Yeah, I think he has confidence in himself um, and he he wants to put himself in the best situation, you know, for him relationship wise, offense wise. I mean, all those things. And uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, we talked about the same thing and it's just it, that wasn't a, really a factor for him. He knew that he, he can go in there and and and, and produce and, you know, uh, ultimately it would be up to him to 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 win it or, you know, earn his way up. But he wanted to be in the best situation. And what do you expect? You talked about um, the way he's wired, how prepared he's going to be. Mm -hmm. What do you expect the biggest jump from him that Iowa game going into this Illinois game after one week? Yeah, I think I think getting to rep everything is probably the biggest thing. Um, you know, I know the time that he spends, you know, all the time off the field, but just getting to rep that stuff that's invaluable. I know as the backup, a lot of your reps are mental reps, um, and you're having to see stuff, and you may. You know, there, there's probably things that he had to that he had to execute in the Iowa game that he may not have even had the chance to rep. You know, again, I don't know exactly how they how they structure their reps and practice, but I would say that's the biggest thing is getting the chance to rep all that stuff over and over throughout the week. I would say that that would make a big difference. I want to see this as a coach because I think the competitiveness from from Braden was on. Um, display right away. He rolled out. It was to, uh, I think to the left, and he took a big shot from two Iowa mm -hmm. defenders. Yeah. Right, he was trying to pick up a couple extra yards. Yeah. As a coach, internally, are you just cringing in that moment because the as a quarterback, you have to get down now. You you can't take this, <laughs> but you also love the competitiveness, right? Like, yeah. What were you thinking when you saw that? Man, it's you know, it's a fine line between letting kids be a competitor and then saying, hey, uh, <laughs> you know, get down. So, I, yeah, I love to see the competitiveness. Um, you know. I obviously I'm sure that uh, Coach Fickle and Coach Longo, you know, <laughs> already having one quarterback hurt, they'd probably like to see him get down. But, uh, you know, love to see the competitive spirit. And I know that he'll do whatever he has to do to win. Yeah, it was on full display. I, again, I thought he came in in that situation. It's one of the best defenses in the country. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's just the eye test. He looked the part, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He, he didn't look panicked in the pocket. He uncorked that first deep post to, mm -hmm. to DK, which I thought was a beautiful throw. It's just a little yeah. off, but. Right. We're pretty excited about it. Um, we're going to take a quick break for our friends of the show. We're going to come back. We're going to just finish up on Braden Locke. And then talk a little bit about Landon Locke as well. Maybe compare the two brothers a little bit. That's coming mm -hmm. up next with Trey Brooks. But first, a quick break for our friends of the show. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, our good friends of the show over at Jace Medical. Again, I've talked about it. I have a family. I have two kids. Being prepared is incredibly important to me as a father. Jace Medical allows you to have a level of preparedness um, that's a little a little different and a little unique. You get uh, Jace case, I have it, five life-saving antibiotics for emergency use, and you get those with instructions, um, references that tells you exactly how to use them. 
you know, in case you can't get to a pharmacy in this store, uh, in a storm, or in case there's a power outage, in case anything happens, you just want to be empowered to take care of your family. You want to have that ability to take care of your family. Jason Medical allows you to do that. Um, it's as easy as, as one, two, three, you receive it almost, almost within a week of, of going through this process. And now you can save more than $360 with this offer by getting life-saving antibiotics with Jace Medical, plus an additional $20 off by using my code locked on at checkout on jacemedical.com. That's J-A-S-E medical.com. Be empowered to take care of your family. Today's show is also brought to you by eBay Motors. I've talked about my car problems at times. eBay Motors is my number one spot for, for getting everything I need for my car, any type of part. A guaranteed perfect fit the first time. No fumbling around, no going through returns and exchanges, trying to figure out the exact part for the exact year. eBay Motors takes care of all of that. And they are there for the passionate drivers. eBay Motors is everything you need to maintain your vehicle, level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. eBay has you covered with over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die. You're always going to find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, the part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only exclusions apply. eBay Guaranteed Fit is only available to U.S. customers. All right, let's keep, uh, get Coach back on here continue this discussion. And Coach, once again, really do appreciate the time. I know you're in yeah. season, you mentioned it's a bye week, but it never really stops for a coach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Bye week seems just as busy as a uh, week where we have a game. But no, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I want, to, I want to talk a little bit about really quick wrap up with Braden Locke and Phil mm -hmm. Longo, the Wisconsin connection. Obviously, they mm -hmm. went back down and recruited late Landon Locke, your, your current quarterback, one of your two, one of your current quarterbacks. Yeah. What was that connection like with Phil Longo in Wisconsin? And what has your impression been of that coaching staff? Oh, yeah, it's been a, a great impression uh, with those guys. You know, Coach, known Coach Longo for several years, obviously, you know, he recruited Braden uh, when he was at North Carolina. But but even before that, uh, it's time that he was at, at Sam Houston State, uh, you know, he recruited uh, our school. And so just uh, it, have at least been around him for a while. And so that was a great connection when it came to recruiting Landon and, you know, Landon getting to go up there and just, you know, it makes a difference when your brother is there just as far as the time that you're able to spend and spend with coaching staff and just, um, I don't know, I feel like maybe it was a little bit more personal than it would have been on just a a recruiting trip for, for any other kid. And, um, you know, and it's, and so, yeah, I just, that was, that was a big deal for him. It's just the relationship and feeling comfortable. And, um, uh, you know, I think that that went a long way. Have you had a chance to talk to Braden this week at all? And if so, kind of like, what has, has that been like? Uh, yeah. So I talked to him, uh, talked to him after the game. Um, and then, um, I'm actually supposed to give him a call today, but yeah, he just, you know, it, it, just excited. Uh, I'm I'm anxious to talk to him after a couple of days of practice, just to see how it, see how he's doing, see how it's going. But um, yeah, we we just talked briefly after the game. Just told him told him I was proud of him, and um, you know, fired up for him. I love it, man. And let's let's really quickly finish up here again. I don't want to take too much of your time, but let's yeah. talk a little bit about uh, Landon Locke and his yeah. game. How is he different yeah. than Braden? Yeah, I think, you know, just their their body types are different, which is which is interesting. You know, Landon is is pushing six four and uh just a long longer limb. Um and I would say, by the way, I would say all this if Braden were if Braden were sitting right here. Both both very good athletes in their own right. You know, Landon Landon's a two sport guy. He plays baseball also. He's actually a really, really good basketball player if he had chosen to go that route. So I don't know. I think I think his athleticism shows up a little bit more in in, in his game. Um, you know, we we don't we don't run our quarterback a ton, regardless of who it is. But that is an element that he has in his game that uh, the ability to extend plays a little bit more. We we sprint him out more. So I, I just again, I'm not saying that look, Braden's a bad athlete. I'm just saying it shows up a little bit more at, in Landon's game. Um, that, you know, when you when you watch him play, what is their dynamic like? The two of them. And it's it's awesome. It's awesome. They they talk all the time. Um, I know that. I mean, it is it's kind of a it's like a I don't know, like a fairy tale almost like they will they get on. I know they they uh, zoom like every week and they'll watch video together, watch Landon's video together, you know, here at Rockwall. And of course, Braden, Braden knows 
the ins and outs of what we're doing. And so they talk through that stuff and it's, man, it's uh, just a really special uh, relationship and Braden having experienced, you know, what he experienced here and knowing me so well and knowing our staff and the staff's all still the same. And so, you know, just kind of being able to pass some of that along to Landon, it's a, it's, it's a pretty cool, pretty cool relationship that they have. I, I, I think they talk just about every day. That's awesome. Uh, one of the things I was curious about, and it, it's been rattling around my brain because everybody, yourself included, you're just verifying what I've heard, mm -hmm. talks about Braden could be a coach someday. Like he knows the game so well. Yeah. He has a work ethic. Is that giving Landon a bit of a head start, having an older brother that he can, you talk about watching film with? It feels like that's kind of a, a unique advantage for Landon. No question. No question. I mean, it's like, I mean, talking to Braden uh, on a, you know, nightly or weekly basis it is it's like talking to a coach it's like he's already already have the has the chance to talk to a wisconsin coach or you know way way in advance and so that yeah it'll make a huge difference and i mean just just speaking from how it is applied to us you know landon showed up in high school knowing so much i mean so it's the same kind of deal like when he got here he knew so much because Braden had told him you know he and and landed new drills and he knew things that that we did and so i, I feel like it's going to be a very similar deal you know going from high school to college it's he's gonna he's gonna know a lot that that just a, another kid another quarterback coming from somewhere else wouldn't have the opportunity to know that's awesome uh coach last question here just uh yep. finish up on landon lock landon lock sorry uh, where's his biggest jump still to come because he's still a pretty young player um uh, a 25 recruit where's his biggest jump still coming Oh man, that's a, that's a good question. Um, gosh, he he's got so many so many positives to just his game and to who he is. It, you know, he's a similar similar makeup, obviously to to Braden, but man, he's got a he's just got a phenomenal arm. Ugh, maybe the best I've ever seen. I you know I don't want to say that I coached Braden. He, Braden threw for eleven thousand yards, but um, yeah, I just think. Uh, it's just continuing to to see things on the field, and I, I don't know. I, I just think it comes from comes from reps. It comes from game reps. Um, you know, I just think the more you play, and this is for any quarterback, but the more you play, the more you you see the big picture out there on the field. And uh, and he's he's been a great decision maker already this year. But I think just I think with playing and with experience, just the decision making and the the you know just almost kind of being like another another coach on the field um you know i think that'll that'll continue to grow with him as as he plays more and more that's awesome uh coach trey brooks rockwall uh thank you so so much for jumping yeah. on the show we really do appreciate it man and good luck the rest of the year we'll be cheering yeah. along yeah thank you i appreciate it on wisconsin for everybody listening thank you so much for joining us on the special show we'll drop another one tonight let's go on wisconsin <laughs>